Hello, this video will demonstrate the solution for the exercise in module 5 master server and the task is to build a lobby system so that the client is easier to find the server through master server um, so in one side the server is started and registered into the master server and when the clients search for the server the master server will display a list of available server and the client can connect to one of them and start his game. So the build version all the script is in the GUI script but in this video I make them separate so that it is easier to see what functions we are using. I take the reference from the Unity page the master server so most of the function and messages is used most of um, so in order to make the UI script and the master server script uh, somehow in harmony with each other I borrow some of the variables this is a message queue and the game is on function I mean variable so when the game starts we need to define the master server location so that the game knows where to search where to send the request for servers or where to re register the server and in this case this is the NKUAS master server address and this address looks like this one and we start by registering the server so when the server is initialized we send a request to the master server that we want to register our game with a type like slug to test is the game's name and the player's name is my name and then some comment and when the server is disconnected, we clear our server address out of the master server so that it can't be listed anymore. So how do we know that the registration is successful? There is a function called on master server event that will ha handle and report the events back to the user and when it is registration succeeded there will be a notification for the uh, client for the server that its address is already registered and when it is failed to connect also it print out a message error and because um, the variable message queues is bo is borrowed from from this message queue, so it will appear in the same dialog with the start server. So server so registered, and in case I disconnect my VPN connection and start the game one more time. It should have some problems. In the first time I just wonder in what case will it return this message but then when I try it it immediately hit arrows because I I forget to to connect to VPN and then it say failed to connect to master server and let's make it one more time. So, now it works. Yep. For the client side, they have a button to click. Well, every game has a button. And the button is 
server search. So, before talking about this button, there is something about the on GUI function. So, there is a dialog, new dialog make, and when the game is on, the dialog appears with other dialogs. And what is the dialogs doing? Is that it says server search, and the client can use this button to pull for servers. So first of all, it, it clears the old host list and make a new request on this game that we defined earlier. And when there is signal, I mean there is game, there is a game uh, or server available, then we will have a boolean um, to flag that to turn this on and off to turn this uh, state on and off and if the if the client received the game from the master server and if the game if there is at least one game in the list at least one server is registered in the list then the master server will display display it in an array so it have an array of the host of the list and we look through the array to display every server's name and IP address and by clicking that button the game will fire the connect to server function from the GUI script and connect the client into the game So that's all about them. And one more time to just summarize. In the beginning, we need to define where the master server is, and when the server is initialized, we registered the game into its list. And then when we disconnect, it will be deleted from the master server. And uh, the client will request the game by clicking the server search. And by, the, by, this, by this action, it will send the request to the, ser to the master server. And he will return the list of the server that is already registered and enable the client to connect. And there is um, functions to manage the ha the events that is on master server event, and another function to display the failed error. So that's it. And now, when I build the version. So now when I click for the server search, it displays my information and I can click on this one and start the game. So that's it. 
thank you for watching and see you next week.